Hey everybody, what's really good? It's your boy Worst Epic Gamer back again with another Soul Hunters Awakening video and today, as you can already tell, we are about to awaken Rayman, the destruction, no, this is the Guardian of the Glade, so uh, as you can already tell guys, I already have part 1 completed, the item is already done, um, let's go to what's left. Alright, so I already did part number two as well because I just couldn't really record it. But if you don't already know, part number two, very simple. Bountiful Caverns, it was this one, the Tidal Temple, alright? So you gotta do that one six times. And then you finally unlock part number three. This is it right here. We have to be the one to kill Ariel in chapter 14. So without any further ado, let us ado this one and be the one to destroy Ariel. Alright, uh... Let's just go ahead and use some scrubs, but not really. Ling Ling, let's use her, because she's not going to really do that much damage. Uh, Lucius will not really do damage. Who else do we want to use? Let's use Jasmine for some nice little bit of um, healing. And one more non-attacker that will not do much damage. Um... Oh boy, ah, how about this? I'm gonna go with Valon. Just for the sheer protection. This guy will protect my whole team. Let's go! Yes. Alright, I'm kind of just expecting Rayman to do all the damage here, to be honest. But, ooh, this might be a little bit harder than I thought. Because Valon is nowhere near ready and he's about to die. That bastard. Don't do it, Valon. Don't freaking die. And Musashi just does not... Oh, there he goes. Um, Milan is looking a little bit almost dead here, but we've got something for that. Let's go with some healing! And I'm gonna use Milan's ultimate here. Pyaw! Knock him in the air. Wow, Jasmine literally almost beat everybody with just one ultimate. So that's not good. I'm not gonna use her in the final round here, but what I will do is... I'll use Ling Ling to boost up my boy... Rayman here, so let's try this. Let's go. Yes, let's get one more wave. Let's go, let's go. I'll use these two ultimates here. And Lingling go. Protection, perfect. Now, can he be the one? Take her out! Go, Rayman, go! Alright, one more ultimate here. This one should do it. The power of the red glove. And the check mark states that we have done it. We did it. This is it. Job well done. Come on! Let's go! Oh, I'm super, super hyped, guys. I've been waiting for Rayman for a while here. So let's begin. Give him to me now! Whoa! That is pretty cool. That just looked like you went from middle school to high school, guys. That's typically every guy that just goes from middle school to high school. He puts in a little cool little hoodie, and all of a sudden, his hair is looking dashing as ever. He's got his earmuffs on, ready to go. <laughs> Still not rocking them legs and them arms. Rocking that Invisi drink. He's been drinking too much of my Invisi drink, I knew it. Stay away from my Invisi drink, Rayman, you bastard. Alright. Very cool. Uh, I like the card a lot, actually, here. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's take a look at this final ability, guys. Really quickly here. Morale boost. Uh, Rayman reduces the amount of time nearby allied uh, heroes are affected by enemy control abilities. Okay, so reduce time affected by control by 1.94 seconds. So let's see how much it goes by. by it goes by 0.3 seconds. Hmm. Hey, that's pretty good. So right now it's at 2.54. I'm um, guessing... It'll be close to 3 seconds of reduced control ability, so that's actually really good. Wowzers, Bowsers. Alright, so let's do the first thing before we do anything else real quick. And that is to enchant this final item here, guys. So let me just go qu uh, quickly and just enchant this damn thing. Go! All the way! I might not even need to fast forward this, depending on how long it's going to take me. But if I do have to fast forward, then you guys already know how... Why it's fast forwarding. But the power team here is doing this, I guess. So I'm just blabbing on here. Uh, wow, I'm really low on these items, guys. Looks like I'm gonna have to spend all my gold I got over on somebody's chest. Open up your chest! 17 of those? Let me do about 14 of these. I usually typically just try to leave about 
Tiny little bitty. Sick mo. Alright, two two. And then I got these. And then I got those. One of those. Damn, this is a lot of enchanting going on here. Yep, almost done here. Holy hell, this is a lot. I'm not gonna have enough here. Whew. Wow, are you kidding me right now? This is crazy. I'm not gonna have enough, guys. All right, so I kind of just stopped there, guys. I'm one star short, as you can tell, because I used up all my, pretty much all the blue items that I could. Let's use that one. I usually leave about 10 left over just to have 10. So I'm going to leave that, and then I can actually just finish this off tomorrow and finish off another daily. All right, so enchantment is pretty good. A nice big boost to dodge, max health, physical attack, and physical armor on that. So let's go ahead to the next part here. All right, so what can this guy do in the arena, guys? This is it. Let's see if he makes a big difference in the arena. So first things first, his initial punch pushes the front line to the back a little bit. So that could kind of help out a little bit depending on, you know, what team you want to use him on. If you have any type of uh, splash damage, if you have any type of, you know what I mean, area damage, that could help. So keep an eye out for that. Here goes Valko. Go, Valko! Now, the problem with Valko is those clones. Oh, 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 no. <sighs> I really thought Tarth might just kill Orkhan there. That would have been bad. Come on, I need an ultimate. So here he goes. His ultimate is on and popping right now. His health is looking good because he's got some pretty good dodge. Very good dodge and he's got really good... Oh, crap. He's been stunned by uh, Haruk there. Out of all my heroes, this guy is looking the best right now. Look at this. He does not die. He does not want to freaking die. Victory! Yay! Oh, that was awesome, guys. Victory! Yay! Oh, that was awesome, guys. Let's see how much damage he did. Well, he wasn't... Yo, what? What is this? Haruk did the most damage out of everybody? Oh, wow. That's pretty sick. And Raymond did as much as Valko. That is insane, guys. Wow, that is actually really impressive. Let me just take a look. You got one kill, three kills for selfie. So that was impressive, guys. Very, very impressive. And that takes me down to number nine. Um, at number two is our legend. Let's refresh. And I'm going to attack one more time here. Let's see how far this could take me with him. So I'll do it right here while we are doing this. Can I beat this team right here? You know what? Same team. Let's see if it's possible to get number three spot with this team using our boy Rayman here. Come on, is it possible? It'll be a lot harder now because Milan is very tough. And not only that, but he's got Gorum there. I mean, not Gorum. I was thinking about Garik. Garik is a very good counter to Valko. As you can see, he destroyed Valko with one slash. So if you were, in case you were wondering what is a good counter to Valko, it's Garik. He's great against Valko. Alright, this one is not looking too good. I lost one of my best damage dealer. And here goes Magnus. Took out Haruk. Ultimate for Rayman. That's his first ultimate though. It's not going to do as much as... He's got ultimate twice. That's the best thing for him though. Oh, he got caught in Haruk's ultimate here. This is not good. Now it's looking really bad. Oh, he's dead. Not good. No, oh, we lost that one, but the damage is still very impressive, guys. He does a lot of damage, and he's definitely one of the best heroes for sure. DPS heroes, he's looking really, really good Awaken. Let's take a look at the rankings real quick. Toon Banana is using 7-star Awaken Rayman, and so is Legend 27 7-star Rayman. That's really good. So it looks like the top guys are all using Rayman. Wow, very impressive there. All right, so let's go ahead, final, uh, finish off this final opinion on this guy, Awakened. I'm loving the design. I got to actually get this one all the way up. He's fully enchanted, fully maxed out. But one last thing that I forgot to do was the Forge. So let's go ahead really quickly in the Forge and do this. Auto Forge 50 times, guys. This will help out tremendously, all right? Because this is one thing that I don't have that I didn't do before I went into the battle. So maybe this makes a little bit of a difference as well because physical attack going up, physical armor is going up, magic armor is going up. So this will help out tremendously here. So 
And then also, don't forget to work on your Heroic Academy. That will also help out. But wow. Am I impressed? Yes, I am definitely impressed. He, this guy's got some pretty cool... He does a lot of damage, AoE damage. He's got the stun that he hits when he jumps around. Throws everybody around. And also, he has that cooldown of control abilities. Very cool. Uh, his bonuses are going to be max health, magic armor, and physical crit rating if you finish all three of them. So, not bad. Once again, not bad. And then, that will be it for our boy Rayman, guys. Just a quick little video showing you what this guy is going to look like awakened so you can prepare for him already. And what kind of uh, expectations you can have for him. So, he's definitely viable in the arena. You can certainly use him in the arena. And uh, I'm going to do a lot more testing on my stream to see if he's better in the raids and the Hall of Legends as well. But for now, definitely viable in the arena. And then whole, um, the Crucible of Fire, you can definitely use them there anyways, alright? With that said, I am ending this off right now, guys. I hope you enjoy Rayman Awakened. Leave a like if you did. I will catch you guys on the next video, alright? Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out, everybody.